time, if I have any, to a foundation that was uh, formed in his name, whose mission is to roll back the hatred that took his life. And we do it in three different areas, in the, um, using the, his style and using the three communities where we have leverage. Journalism community, musician, because of his love for music and his being a musician, and a dialogue. I engage a lot with the dialogue with the Muslims, trying to find a common ground between Muslims and Jews, and to air the differences to see if this planet of ours can be can be redirected into a more um, reasonable orbit. And uh, I would also at this point like to thank very much the organizer of this event and the editor of this wonderful book, which I'm still wondering why I don't have a, a, a paper there. It's <laughs> <laughs> I would have liked to participate, <laughs> but it was a surprise to me, and I I appreciate you trying to keep it a surprise. I only got few hints, mainly for, mainly for my wife, from Ruth. <laughs> Something is cooking, and she mentioned the word fest shift, but I thought it's a fest shift, you know, in some sort of a festival of. A <laughs> Poem festival or something, but I didn't realize that you'll go to the extent of uh, producing such a wonderful book, where I can, I can, I can read and find out what I missed in all these all these years and all these areas which I have abandoned, so uh, unwantingly. Thank you very much for being here with us. Thank you. <laughs> How do I thank you back? I don't have. <laughs> um, so celebrities do this way, right? I'm happy to answer any questions about Mr. Brainless. <laughs> yes, Dana. It's a no brainer. <laughs> What is it? Was this a no-brainer? <laughs> it should be. <laughs> what about free will? That is a, the topic that I'm, uh, I really hope to get into. What's the question? What, is, what, about, free will? what about free will? It's, it's a puzzle. It's a philosophical puzzle. I'm sure it has a very simple answer. In terms of software architecture, I don't know the answer. Now, what kind of question do you have to answer? We have to answer several questions that come to my mind. You have a system, under what condition it will get the uh, feeling that it acted in f by free will. What needs to be activated? Short-term memory, long-term memory? What, what kind of modules need to be activated in that system before the system, yes, I acted with full volition. I knew what I was doing and I acted accordingly. As opposed to, it just happened. I was, in, I was enslaved by my urges. Now, these are two kind of different... Oh, I did it spontaneously. I didn't think. What should take place in our mind or in the software system before a robot comes back with one answer as opposed to the other? It's only one question. And then the question is... The uh, other question is... Uh, uh, why did evolution equip us with this illusion of having free will? It must serve some computational function that makes us survive. What's the alternative? I mean, the, the truth is we are all aut automata, right? But could we communicate if we were just touring automata? Could we have social responsibility, morality, education, all this, with just being touring automata? Or we need some hierarchical uh, architecture to do that. And so what is the computational advantage of the illusion of free will? The two questions that bother me. I don't know the answer. You have, you have made many... You have, 
No, I just know that I, I think Bushev Zinger said that uh, in his Nobel Prize uh, speech that uh, uh, we have to believe in free will, we, we have no choice. That's <laughs> 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 a good That's <laughs> a good one. They <laughs> look Oh, thank you. Stop it for dinner. <laughs> Before we break, before we break there's, there's just a few other people that, that, um, that should be acknowledged. Um, it turns out that events like this don't just occur out of thin air. There are actually very significant effects which have caused this. And in fact, there are due to interventions of particular people that actually cause these events. And, and there are several people that, that deserve special recognition. First group is, is Rena Dechter, um, Hector Geffner, and Joe Halpern, who's not here, who were really the prime and motivating force behind this entire event, and certainly organized the entire Fest Trip book, and also the program. Um, I also would like to thank um, Adnan Darwish and the Computer Science Department for, for um, dealing with, with local arrangements, and also um, providing um, funding for this event as well. Um, several other people, um, um, staff in the Computer Science Department, including Terry Valai and Cassandra Franklin, helped with the the um, organization. Um, I'll get to her in a second. Um, <laughs> Cesar Romero, um, not Pippa, Pippa Srisawat, Ertan Dogwilton, and Arthur Choi also helped as well. Um, and and Karuda is very special. So they, they say behind every great man there's a great woman, and, and, and Yuda's been lucky enough to have two. And the most important, of course, is his wife Ruth. And the other is Karu, who I think unfortunately stepped out of the room. She was here while ago. Karu is, is, as long as I can remember, has been Yuda's assistant. And we've all um, benefit tremendously from reading his papers and, and, and his beautiful papers and listening to his beautiful talks. And it turns out that the intellectual ideas are, are Yuda's, but all of the, the typographical work and all of the figures and all the beautiful animations and such are, are, are due to Karu, and she deserves a, um, a special thanks for, for that. <laughs> Dinner will be served in the main dining room. If you are one of the contributors of the book, please join us for dinner. If you have a, a, a blue dot on your um, on your name tag, please join us as well. If you're a contributor and you have a blue dot, I guess you can have second. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one final um, thank you to you for all of his contributions.